Okay, okay, so I stopped recording because I need because I didn't plug it in yet. Plus, I didn't turn it on. So, so now you're gonna get, get to see this in. A so now you're you guys are gonna see this in action just as soon as this thing uh, warms up. Um, when, whenever it warms up, it it uh, so, sometimes turns on some of the, some of the lighting features. Um, and I think it just. I think it's ready because the because the red light on the on the remote just came on. Let me just move it out, move some stuff out of the way. That way, that way it doesn't. Uh, that way it doesn't interfere much with the anything. Yeah, I just, I just need, I just gotta move everything out of the way so it won't, so nothing won't, you know, catch on fire or anything. <laughs> okay, so, so, the, so what you do is push this button, and then, it, and then it, and then it automatically turns on the fog like so. Oh, along with the lighting features as well. And if you want to turn it off, then, then you just, then you just, uh, turn it off like that. And I am still trying to figure figure this thing out. I've been reading the instructions constantly for the past two days, and uh, oh my gosh, it's some, sometimes it, sometimes this thing can be a little bit hard. This the smaller fog machines like this one are a lot are a lot harder harder to, to handle than the bigger ones. And I always thought it was the other way around. So yeah, I will be coming up with a strategy on on how to use this during certain segments. Uh, but but I will try and do my best. So so uh, bear with me on that. Okay, let me get everything back up. Okay. Moving right, moving right along. So this is a, is my next it is my newest strobe light. I know you guys are probably used to me using a different type of strobe light, and this is what it is. It's it's like a Halloween type t type of strobe light. Um, and it and it is easy e easy easy for me to use, but. But I just kind of prefer like the high tech stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so I already have one, I already have one of the lighting panels on. There's like three of them. There is red, which is what you see here, and and we got and we got green, or is it or is it or is it a very light blue? I can't tell. Um, and we got yellow. So I'm just gonna use the red one for right now because I just, because I already got it on. Um, so what? So this thing has like a slow, th slow thing and, and a fast, fast speed thingy. I don't know what to call it or anything. Uh, but but what you do is just turn. It's just to turn it to a certain setting that you want. And it'll just go on like that. But if you don't want to have it, have like a lighting panel on there, you just take it off. But, 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 I won't, but, but I'm not gonna take it off now because it's gonna like take forever. Uh, but, but, but yeah. This is, I think, I think that's it or something. I'm not sure. Let me just. Check. Yep, I yep, I believe that's everything. Okay, so 
I hope you guys enjoyed this this review of all of all these new uh, stick um, lighting features that I'll be using in future videos really very soon. Um, so thank you guys again so much for watching this two this two part stage update mini series. Don't forget and, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to click that bell notification so you don't miss a video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.